Once again, your girl E has saved the day and you now have a date. Hey, you guys, get ready with me. Valentine's Day edition. Right now I'm just doing my makeup. I got some aloe vera lotion to hydrate my face. And yeah, your girl's getting ready to go out. Now, I know a lot of you guys are excited about Valentine's Day. You know, the teddy bears, the chocolate, the romantic dates, and so on and so forth. But on the other hand, I know it's a lot of you that are single and ready to mingle without a date for Valentine's Day. Now, no need to worry. Your girl E has got you covered, okay? So let's go ahead and get to it. Six tips to land a date before Valentine's Day. Tip number one, put yourself out there, okay? Now, we're not gonna know that you're in the dating pool if you don't show up to the dating pool, okay? Like, we just don't know that you exist, okay? We just don't. So I'm gonna need you to go to the mall, go to your favorite store and get you an outfit, child. And yeah, grab a friend or, you know, go by yourself. It doesn't matter, it's 2024, who cares? You know, get dressed and show up. Okay, I want you to go to a restaurant that's popular in your city or go to a popular social spot where you think you can find the type of person that you would like to date, okay? And don't be stingy. Buy them a drink. You know, buy someone a drink. You know, be courteous. You know, sharing is caring. And ladies, that applies to you too. You don't always have to wait for a guy to buy you a drink first. If you see a good looking young man that, you know, catches your eye, offer him a drink. It's 2024. You know, go get what you want. Tip number two, online dating. Now, if you're one of those people who is just too busy to date or just can't make it to a social spot, online dating is still a very great option. There is tons and tons of dating websites out there. We got Christian Meet, we got Tinder, Facebook, and so on and so forth. It's just so many ways to date in 2024. There is no reason why you cannot be able to find a date. Now, make sure to vet out your options if you're online dating. Also, be very careful. You know, make sure the person is a legit person. Make sure you're meeting this person at a public place and that someone knows where you're at. Share your location at all times. Don't tell them that Erica got you kidnapped, okay? Because I will take down my video. <laughs> just kidding but yeah no definitely um you know make sure to read their bio make sure this person matches up with what you're looking for tip number three watch out for red flags okay again read their bio um get to know them if you're meeting them in a social place and make sure that they're not checking off any red flags make sure they're not checking off anything that's on your deal breaker list and just ultimately, you know, you want to make sure that this person is compatible with you. You know, we want to be intentional when we're dating this year. So we're not just looking for a date for Valentine's Day. We're also looking for someone who we can potentially continue to date. Okay? Okay. Now, tip number four, and this is actually probably the most important tip, is be yourself. Okay, I don't want you showing up as Prince Charming today and you're like, you know, the most toxic dude from hell in a month. Okay, be yourself. Um, you know, show your character, show all your good traits. You know, um, you want to make sure that you're making a natural and genuine connection, you know, because usually those type of connections last a lot longer now tip number five communicate okay now keep in mind when you start dating someone in the beginning you got competition and you're competing for spot number one okay so if you just think you're gonna hit you know the girl up or the guy up 
one day and then you disappear for two weeks and then you take hours to respond, you are going to get left behind, honey. That is just the truth. Like time waits for nobody, nobody at all. So make sure you're putting in the work, you're you know, texting a few times a week and letting that person know that, hey, you know, I'm still thinking about you um, and that you're still interested basically, you know? Um, because one thing about me, child, if you take hours to text me back, that will be the last time you hear from me. Like not kidding, not joking. <laughs> okay. Now my makeup is coming along just fine, child. Okay. Period. Cause your girl got places to go and people to see. Okay. Yeah. Um, now tip number six is get a second opinion. Now, it can be from a mentor, a friend, and I don't mean toxic friends, <laughs> speaking of which, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. But yeah, like get a second opinion, ask a family member, ask a friend, ask someone who gives you good advice, like, hey, you know, I'm dating this person, what do you think, you know, how do we look together? And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to take every word to heart, but you basically just want to get a second person's opinion in figuring out if this person is Mr. or Mrs. Right. Once again, your girl E has saved the day and you now have a date. So make sure to post all your pictures and videos from Valentine's Day. I can't wait to see it. And check out my channel. The link will be in the bio. And yeah, tune into our podcast. You know, we'll be talking about a lot of relationship topics and advice. And yeah, we just got so much great, great content and information that we're going to get out there to y'all. ASAP, period. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and follow to stay updated with all of my videos. The link to my podcast will be posted in the bio. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest content. Till next time, it's your girl E. Bye! <laughs>